Good morning. My name is Michael Leeserman here with the Trial Guide's Tip of the Day this Thursday, July 6, 2023. Today's tip comes from the video, Stop Your Whining and Go to Trial by Rick Friedman and Don Bauermeister. Here to read today's tip is Rick Friedman. Thanks, Michael. This is a short one. Don't take a weak case thinking you can settle it. So it's short, and I think there's a lot there. Don't take a weak case thinking you can settle it. Tell us more. Well, the weaker your case, the more likely the defense is going to want to fight it to the end. That's just uh, common sense when you really think about it. And I see so many plaintiff lawyers uh, kind of overlooking the weakness in their case, the fatal flaw, whatever. Because they think, well, the defendant will want to get rid of me. They'll pay us something. So I'll just take it. And then I see, so, and I've done this myself. I see so many lawyers having taken that weak case. Uh, it, it becomes like a tar baby. You can't get rid of it. And it just uh, bedevils you until it's over. And it almost never turns out well. So if you know it's a weak case, uh, if you're not... Well, and I've taken weak cases knowing I'm going to try them. That's fine. But uh, because sometimes a weak case needs to have somebody advocate for it. So I'm not saying don't take a weak case. But if you're taking a weak case, be prepared to go the distance because the defense will probably be eager to go the distance. I remember hearing at the beginning of my career saying it was something like, um, if you take a case um, and try to settle it, you'll end up at trial. If you take a case um, and, uh, you know, work it up for trial, it'll end up settling. I, that, I think that's brilliant. I totally, yeah, I've never heard that before. That's a great saying. Yeah. And as plaintiff's lawyers, we get to choose uh, what cases we take. So I, I think what you're saying is if you want to help someone and there's problems, just be willing to go the distance, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Um, some great uh, wisdom, as always, from Rick Friedman this morning. Thank you for being here, Rick. Thank you, Michael. Let's take a deep breath together and be grateful to be alive this Thursday. May the work we do today help to reduce suffering in the world, reduce suffering in the lives of our clients, in our lives, uh, and in the world. May our efforts help to repair the world. May we fiercely and compassionately advocate for our clients, champion their stories, and do so from a place of compassion and wisdom. I'm going to ring a bell three times now. This can take you into a meditation practice, a prayer practice, or just remind you, wake up, it's Thursday. Go out, do good things, and have fun while you're doing it.